I'm a idiot. Ain't no fun, no, but ain't no fun. But a little bit of cancer. He got it. He was cut film like no other back in the day. Hey, who was it? Who am I thinking White of? Films, black films, all of them. Gene, uh, who was the guy with, with uh, Kelly Ripka? What the hell was his name? Uh, uh, you talking about, uh, uh, Regis? Regis. Don't, don't you very funny to smirch, sweet, sweet baby Kelly. I'm just asking Self questions. Legend. I'm literally Kelly just Ripka. asking questions. I'm the investigator. Don't, don't, don't toss a K in her name. There's no strike out in there, baby. It's Kelly Ripka. It's Ripa. Oh, no? She's a sweet South Jersey angel. I believe that She was true. the face of Kennedy Hospital for a while. On yeah. Really? Yeah. I think she's from Washington Township. Really? We'll, so, let, we'll let the South Jersey bad boys handle that. We're not a South Jersey-based podcast. Anymore. We're global. <laughs> yeah. And we got the Jeff Colella in the chair tonight, in the camping chair. Welcome to the campsite. Yes, dude. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. I like it. This chair We're gonna is very We're going to call the campsite. We're going to change the name of the podcast again. We're working with some. We are due for I'm, on my third, I'm on my third name change, so I mean it's like yeah, a good. Can you walk us through it, dude? And we just got a different, a new. It's a new set. We took like a two month break. I was like, this is the worst, dude. All we ever do is just relaunch. <laughs> we do three episodes. We relaunch. You guys are the Ben Simmons of podcasts. Dude. You just keep coming back. <laughs> They're like, he's questionable. It's questionable for a return tonight. Uh, he's both got a guys. Nerve. He might get traded. We might <laughs> trade Rusty any day now. There's rumors they hate doing it. <laughs> yeah, we, I, we, I almost cut the whole crew. I was like, we're both fired. This sucks. We're so bad at this. We you were... guys have had a very tumultuous uh, storyline, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're. You know what it is? It's like uh, it's like having someone who's so different from you. You're like the chemistry is going to be good. Like we're different type of people. And then like it'll just be how we both go about things. Where I'm like, this is also somewhat a nightmare. Sure. He'll call me and have like six. <laughs> podcast ideas yeah and i'm like i'm thinking we just click record and <laughs> let it rip what are you thinking maybe having fun yeah are you guys sticking with uh if you want to plug it go ahead because big boy live. mountain yeah. uh people mountain formerly beer naked joke formerly sweet heat currently big boy mountain i'm the big boy and the mountain just, uh, <laughs> so many confusing <laughs> names so many, like, so many names that just don't give you an idea of what the show's about no. now granted ours doesn't either our old name did our old name <laughs> summed it up i like handsome idiots your podcast sounds like, a, like the way a quarterback before he snaps calls <laughs> Sweet eat, sweet eat. Big one we're gonna go, yeah, we're going to go with Omaha. Omaha, check, check. 53 is the mic. I thought it was like clever at first, like beer naked joke. I was like, we're going to do like an MMA type podcast. And then we did nothing MMA related. Yeah. And then we did Sweet Heat and people were like, it's really hard to search. Yeah. It's just like barbecue sauces. Sure. <laughs> getting, sweet Heat was fun to say, though. <laughs> yeah. Getting Rusty on an MMA podcast is just, he might not he be really the He knows a lot. Uh, yeah, I could see that. But he, does, he's, he is sick. We all know that he's got bone cans or something. Yeah. Something bad, man. I was trying to look up, like, AI images, like, trying to make, like, a dumb thing for us. And I had to type in, because they don't follow instructions great. I had to be, like, Jason Momoa and sick kid in hospital bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it nailed it. It, and it just nailed kept, it. It just kept putting Jason Momoa in a hospital bed. I was like, no. No. I don't want to be with safe. him. I'm not, I don't want to touch him. Well, yeah, so do you have to you have to keep, like, prompting them new stuff, right? You have to be like, good job, AI, <laughs> right. but I need it to be more racist. Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> Bigger muscles on Jason Momoa, and that was bigger muscles. He said on that one, following racist with <laughs> yeah, good call. Be Thanks, very Matt. You're a good friend. Yeah, Big uh, muscles, actually. <laughs> also, I'm now worried that Rusty's actually sick. I've made that, and nobody laughed. <laughs> no, he's fine. If it's fine. a bad joke, I can well, live with if it. If there's just anybody if he's... that's had multiple people come up to him and been like, "Are you okay?" It's got to be Rusty. I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, mentally, I mean, I wish people would check in on me. How are you doing, dude? Uh, that's actually I hate that. Never mind. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> call me gay or something. Quick, 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 <laughs> quick. My feelings. Somebody give me a beer. I can't have a thought. It's my guy right there. Yeah, dude. My I guy. Think my conscience just started talking. Really? That's exactly what I think all the time. Yeah. People are like, "What's like? Are you excited or nervous about this mic or this show?" I was talking to Gabs actually at Tapper. I was like, yeah. out "For uh, when you hosted the other night," and I was like, "Is Matt nervous?" And I was like, "Let him go get a beer or two. He'll be fine." Yeah, She's like, "That's what he said." I'm like, "Yeah, because that's what we need to do." Yeah, that's right. All I need is just uh, liquid courage to do what I do four times a week. So you can imagine how that makes my body feel, dude. I'm right there with you, dude. Nah, dude. I do about half and half. If it's like mics, I don't really, unless it's like I feel like it. <laughs> I'll crush like a double IPA. Before Ew, I get on dude, stage, it's terrible. <laughs> dude, I'm, gonna, I'm, laughing your, I'm laughing at how quickly you just changed your tone. You're like, I never drink it. All the actually, all the yep, I drink it every mic I ever go to. <laughs> well, I just I've stopped going to mics as much, and those are the ones I wasn't drinking. If you give me a show, dude, especially I'll have like a two or three before you get up, and then if the set goes good, dude, that's nine. the move. Yeah. Two or three before you get up. That's where yeah. I miss drinking is after having a great set. Like coming off stage, and you're like, oh, get me a Heineken Zero. God yeah. damn it, I hate myself. True, I hear that. 
I, it's I, tough. I can't imagine. You got to do something else, dude. You got to go like outside and catch a bird with your. I go. Hands. I go and I strangle a homeless man every time <laughs> I have a great set. I take that energy and I put it into a homeless man's throat. <laughs> you doing hands. a service, really? Yeah, I'm really kind of clean up the streets. People are starting to call me Batman. It's <laughs> they got to give they got to give like non-drinking comedians something. You got to get like a pig pen outside of the show that you got to run around and wrestle a little a squealer. Tr- I think, I'm thinking more like a trough, and it's me and all the other sober comics <laughs> just <laughs> drinking <laughs> athletic brewing non-alcoholic out of a trough. <laughs> We're just like, that's incredible. I love that, dude. You know, also, fucking uh, you know, Jacob Jim, Alordi, they're dude. Me, they're calling me Batman. You're the, the Jacob Alordi. Show the camera that. You're Jacob Alordi. <laughs> Jacob Alordi. I'm not really a fan of this guy. Really? Nah, nah dude. You I can't think accept hating. greatness? I think I'm hating. You Wait, can't accept greatness, Who's Jacob Alordi? Fill me in. Uh, new beautiful guy on the block. Saltburn sucked. That movie was complete Oh, uh, he's the ugly hot guy. They're selling his, I, yeah, like, bathwater or some shit like that, He's right? He's a strange, or something strange like that. face hot guy, right? Yeah, he just got in trouble. This is, a, yeah, some, uh, like, a paparazzi or something came up to him and, like, made a joke about drinking his bathwater because it happens in Saltburn. Mm. Uh, okay. And apparently he, like, legit, like, grabbed the guy and, like, choked him and pushed him against the wall. <laughs> and I was like, bro, me next. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're suing, and I'm like, it had to be the guy next to him and been like, I'm next. It's my turn. Is he... Is he... Oh yeah, dude. Look oh wait, no, he is the real hot guy. I was yeah. thinking it's the other guy. Oh, you talking about Barry, the little Irish boy? The, yeah, whatever he is, dude. <laughs> he's apparently, 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 like, like he's a sex symbol now. I'm like, I don't know. I saw him licking up bathwater, dude. It was kind of weird. Yeah, guys <sighs> like him are not sad. Like I can't. I don't know. I guess I don't know how girls' brains work, but the idea of that guy banging me, I'd be like, all right, that's enough, Gumby. But imagine too this guy, this guy's like 6'4 or something, choking someone against the wall. Yeah. That's a big boy right there. And he's Australian, so he's like, what are you doing, my hour? Come on. No. That's scarier. <laughs> yeah. Australians are fucking tough, dude. No, I think quite yes. the opposite. Really? really? Yeah. I'm basing it off of Survivor. I think there's I, hubris in my mind, there's only 100 people in Australia, <laughs> and Yo. like 50 of them are pretty tough. True, okay. It's all the guys that ride like dirt bikes in the outback. Those guys are tough. True. They're mm. all in the X Games. They all have like a flat brim hat, but it's curled up in the front, real yeah. weird. That's fair. There's a name for those that type of Australian guy. I forget what it is. Uh, it's like the outback redneck, basically. Yeah. Those guys, I think, are tough. The rest, I think, they're just they don't have enough big cities. They don't have like a New York. They don't have a Big Apple, dude. A big no. blooming onion. I also don't know. I have no idea what Melbourne Melbourne looks what's like. What's the one yeah. with the what's uh, the theater? I couldn't. If you asked me to draw Mel- any of, yeah, that's S- Sydney. 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 There. That's a girl's Sydney. name. Sydney yeah. Sweeney. <laughs> pull her up, pull thanks, her up. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Are we you just, staring at this dude? We just want another hour. Of, yeah, we just want an hour of three dudes staring at a picture of a hot girl. <laughs> yeah, but Welcome guys like to that. describing hot girls on this week's episode. See, but she's Sweeney. got. She does have a little bit of a Victoria's Secret model face, a specific one that I'm thinking of. A couple of years ago, they put out a Victoria's Secret model who was well, controversial. They put out a model. <laughs> it's not they said you want to buy her. Oh, I see what you're getting at. There's a specific model. It was a very that inclusive people, issue, if you yeah, will. She has a little bit of that to um, me. You could say that everyone was down for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down with the sin. Yeah, you know, da, 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 da. down with the sickness, dude. Did you guys watch the newest season of uh, Love on the Spectrum? Yeah, I've gotten oh, a couple of in. Boy, cried. Yeah. Cried. I see the guy. Uh, I see the one guy on TikTok all the time where he asked if the one chick was like into nature. That guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy rules. Is it the nature guy where he's like, "Are you into nature?" Blonde she, hair. He's like really like almost like buzz cut, like almost losing oh, his no, hair. I know no? you're talking about. No, I thought you were talking about James, the uh, blonde haired guy who, who does the clap in that. Oh, I don't know that. I don't know him. Oh, James, okay. can you pull up uh, James from Love on the Spectrum, please? He is <laughs> great because he finds he finds a way to uh, he finds a way to bring up his hair on every date. Like, he'll be like, oh, it's real windy. Of course, I have hairspray in my hair today. Oh, nice. He's thrilled about his hair. <laughs> oh, he's stoked on his he's hair. Like and and as it. you as well, as a man with longer hair, I understand it. I mean, this is the nicest possible way, dude. He's the man. I mean, this is the nicest possible, hey, I mean, nice possible way. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful or okay. throw shade. I genuinely, for a second, thought that was Rob Stant <laughs> in the first picture. <laughs> Shout out Rob Stant. Rob Stant's the man. But I will say, I thought that was Rob for a quick second. I totally have no clue idea specifically exactly what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing. It's a handsome fella. He is the man, dude. I mean, he look at like, that. He, he, like, talks like DMX a little bit. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> He does. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Nailed it, right? Yeah, I've been practicing. I've been running a new uh, bit about Love on the Spectrum, and it is interesting to, like, get into the bit. I eventually get everybody on board, but, like, I did it the other night. I, I did a uh, NA conference, Narcotics Anonymous conference, mm. and I was like, you guys lay around and watch a lot of TV, I'm assuming. Oh. I was like... You guys are familiar with Love on the Spectrum? Couldn't it be the most blank stares on everyone in the crowd's face? Oh, wow. And then I just stuck it out on a joke that you fully need to watch the show. Yeah. Or at least understand what it is. 
Um, I yeah, feel that. I don't know. Yeah, I feel that. Good for you for sticking it out. That's a pro move, dude. You're pro Montag. Yeah. No, I did like the show. A well nice. lit uh, conference room in a King of Prussia hotel with a bunch of former junkies just not liking you when the you're dream. on stage. Unfortunately, the dream. Dude. Chasing the dream. Just picking the wrong. Just picking the wrong demographic, dude. Those people yeah. don't watch Love on the Spectrum. They certainly. They yeah. watch Down for Love. <laughs> <laughs> That one also kind of feels like a low blow for Dude, being that honest. that one I, I cannot bring myself to hit play. Because <laughs> laughing, for, down for laughing love for love when feels. watching Love on the Spectrum, you're at least like, I'm playing along. <laughs> down for Love, if I start laughing, I'm going to hell. Yeah. Dude, that one just feels like a low blow. Like, you know somebody brought up the title. They're like, how about Down for Love? They're like, Yo, print it. what the fuck? Here? Print like, it. Dude, <laughs> dude, we'll put it in there as a bookmark, but we got to <laughs> yeah. be honest. There's no way Netflix is going to approve this name. <laughs> Someone's like, I love about, that. Okay, so I'm going to pitch a smooth brain dating show. They're like, oh my God, <laughs> dude, are we even trying? It just eked out low and slow. <laughs> what the hell, dude? No, that show has made me cry on about three occasions. And it's like the, <laughs> I have to do it a cry where like my girlfriend has already fallen asleep while I'm watching. So I have to like silently cry as to not wake her up. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> there's one, the one dude on there is like having a meeting with his therapist. She's like, you don't have to be happy all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I guess we kind of don't. We can just feel how we feel. <laughs> my girlfriend's like, what was that, chief? I'm like, nothing. Nothing, honey. So Come bad, dude. Sleep. So so bad. You're not leaving the room to cry. No, I stay right there and I cry like a man, dude. I love being like a, you're, you get welled up. You're like, I'm actually gonna go check and see if the recycling's overflowing yeah. outside. <laughs> I was actually just jerking off the pictures of your friends. I wasn't crying. <laughs> you doing that and sticking to it while also having tears running down your face is like, I hope to God that's not what he was doing. I hope he was crying. This is sad. It's just to come back, that was a joke. As I say, that's what I would prefer to say that I was crying. Hey, Jeff, that was when's not the last time you cried? Thing. I was going to ask, are you guys big yeah. criers? Uh, last time I cried? We do talk crying a lot. I cry all the time. I like a good cry, if I'm being honest. Sometimes I'm almost like, dude, I need to cry. Let me yeah. throw something on. Like, I'm feeling weird. Let's get that out of the system. Yeah, I'll right throw now. on a ladder 49 real quick, just fucking ball my eyes out. Really? Joaquin Phoenix getting yeah, is trapped in a fire after you spend two hours meeting his family. Yeah. It is good to know what your go-to cry movie is. Or Click. Click that's is everybody a good one. in our generation. Every yeah. in our generation like Click's cries a good click. one. It's weird. Yeah. That's a good, maybe like a... Um, Big Fish gets me. What's Big, Big fish? fish? Big Fish. It's a real whimsical tale, but it's... Uh, it's about like lost love, and I I watched it on a plane the one time. I was my wife and I got like split up on the plane seats wise, and she was like a couple rows up but could still see me. Mm. And I was like, oh, sick! Big fish is on, and I play it halfway to California. She looks back, and I'm just tears streaming down my face on a flight. And she was like, oh my god, who am I marrying? Oh, <laughs> like, god. This is embarrassing. Oh god! <laughs> and I'm back there just reconnecting with lost relatives <laughs> mentally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Add big fish. Add some big love on the spectrum. I get a couple of tears going. Ooh. Maybe, so maybe the new plane? season of Deceit on the spectrum. Oh, is where'd, you, where'd you watch it? I watched it on a plane. Which, a plane. You're right. in an elevated state too. I'm always more emotional on a plane, so that's tough. Also, anything on a pl- like if you're watching a sad movie, you gotta be like. I watched a movie one time that the plane offered. They were like, "We play this," and it was like French Dispatch. And like three minutes in, someone's nude, and there's like a kid behind me, dude, and I was they... like. There is no buffer don't on that. Don't let me see, well, don't even let me turn it on. <laughs> yeah. And it's then you all like ages plain. <laughs> then they just see you tapping the screen it's trying to exit plane. out and it's it looks an adult only plane. You know, which would sounds kind of sick, but yeah, it's kind of nice. Adult only plane sounds Slat pretty listed. inclusive. That all, all adults plane Epstein could have used one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Hates all adult planes. Banned them. By the Banned way, I, I mentioned this earlier. The idea of deceit on the spectrum, just to show about them kind of going against each other, really makes me feel pretty good. Just want just one person who's not actually on the spectrum. You're like, which one is it? So you just want you want the bachelor, but everyone's on the spectrum. No, I want there to be some like people are undercutting people and they're stealing and the whole thing. It's like the Hunger Games on the spectrum. Yeah, it's the Bachelor. Is that what that is? I think it's just a bunch of sluts like trying to one up each other and like sluts, rat each other out. John, is that... Okay, that's borders. I think it's just a bunch of dingbats trying to be like, <laughs> you know, Sarah said that you actually aren't a good kisser. Don't say that, dude. You said that there's a girl from Philly on there this year. Yeah, she got kicked off. No, I think so, right? I don't know. Rats. She's dingbat number one. Do you watch a, a Bachelor action? Bachelor? Uh, I watched a little bit of the Golden Bachelor oh, yeah. with uh, Aaron, and uh, that was that was. I think I like that more because I feel more invested because I'm like, damn, dude, this is a this is a we're just trying to have a little bit of love in retirement before we both die. I yeah. think it's kind of selfish of them. Like you had all your younger years to find love. <sighs> yeah. Just go play golf. Well, it feels weird because it'll be like the weight, the weight on the guy. I don't know if you guys watched it or not. The Golden Bachelor. Yeah. A couple episodes. Yeah. Dude, Gary, I think his name was bro. 
Of course, it's Gary. He's yeah. like <laughs> pouring his heart out, and he's like, "Just there's something special. You remind me of, you remind me of my wife." My poor, <laughs> and so... I'll start crying, and then I'll like, "Oh, and he's a widow." He's a widow, and oh, they're all. Okay. But then, like the Fuck. girl he's talking to is like, "And I haven't let a man touch me since my husband of 43 years." <laughs> and you're like, "Damn!" And then they fuck that night. And then Gary leaves and throws the same lines on the next chick, oh, and then yeah. fucks that chick. <laughs> oh my god, let's go, dude! And Aaron's like, I'm like, this is this is this guy's a player. He's just yeah, trying he's to get a his hot dick 65 wet. Sixty-five year old. You think this guy was gonna be a good guy? You do, but but like the girls are like, he's so sweet. I'm like, he's gonna bang the next chick, and they're like, nah, uh. And then they don't like show or imply it, but he'll just be like leaving. In like boxers, and you're like, yeah, he's banging all the ladies <laughs> for sure. <laughs> he's just scratching his dick, walking out of her, <laughs> out of her room. All the ladies look like Caitlyn Jenner. You're like, this is because <laughs> her, like, I don't know what's going. Are on. any of them widowers? Is that what a woman is, right? They're all, widow. all of their husbands are dead. That's how you get on the. Oh, they have, you to have to kill your husband. <laughs> they have to kill your husband in front of you. And it's like, honey, please. The producers just execution style. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the house. <laughs> he's got the whole fucking the gauntlet that they drop on his head. <laughs> the it's, like a, it's the French Revolution of husbands in front of him. This time was they should put dude if fucking Biden doesn't get reelected, put him on there in the next season. The Silver Bachelor? That'd be sick. Just keep making it older, dude. It's the Marie oh, he Antoinette would, he, Bachelorette. The third one oh. is the Black Bachelor. It's just like a thirty two year old black guy. And they're like, that one was a little fucked they up. They gotta call that the Black <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I would like that. That's are you guys into Love Island? I'm a big Love Island guy. No, I'm not a big uh, only UK. My wife oh, yeah. watched a lot of them. Like she watched the uh, Love Is Blind one. I want no, I real that. Love Is Blind. I want actual blind people dating. Sure, that would be incredible. The seat, just two the people feeling each other's face in an Arby's. No, it'd be it would be. <laughs> you can't feel face in no, Arby's. I'm on board. You feel so. I'm on board. I'm in, I'm all in. I'll invest. You feel so rugged. <laughs> I'll invest, dude. I thought for a second it was gonna be because honestly, like when you watch Love Is Blind, it's just them talking through a wall. And they're like, I love you. This is the best. You're so amazing. And then yeah, as soon as they see each other, they're like, Hurr. Yeah, but they didn't go ugly enough on that show, right? They didn't throw enough curveballs out there where it's like an absolute knockout of a yeah. woman and then just a dude that's like barely holding It'd be himself a hot together. Dude yeah. is just like kind of short and they're like, ew. That yeah. would be amazing if they got ew. like <laughs> hot, the hot uh, golden bachelor. They get an old hunk like that and then they just get a bridge troll girl but that has like a sexy voice yeah. and like a good personality. Yeah. Make that old moron fall in love and then they lift the thing and he's like, I don't got any fucking time for this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is just funny that hot people seeing somebody who's like short and not that hot, they think he's retarded. <laughs> like, I think yeah. he's got something wrong with it. Well, I think like, they put me on the wrong show. What's up, man? I'm, fi I'm Tyler. I'm 5'6". I'm a six-figure earner in New York City, and they're like, oh, Dude. my God, he's learning to When Tyler's <laughs> getting to their 60s, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a big issue on our hands. President Tyler? Uh, we're going to have a President Tyler at some point. James Tyler. Uh, first name, though. Be. Yeah, true. It's be Tyler Joe Manison My or friends something. call me Ty Guy. That's not a name. Ty Guy. Yeah, <laughs> he call me Ty Guy. Ty Guy. <laughs> he goes over to Putin. He's like, he call me Ty Guy. My <laughs> friends do. <laughs> Just don't call me late for dinner. Booties, what's up? <laughs> A Tyler boots. would be friends with him. He'd put his guard down. Yeah. You think so? You yeah. think Boots would let his guard down? He'd be like, this guy's fucking crazy. If you get like a, like a Burt Kreischer enough guy in there. True. The, you know, they were like, we fucking like yeah. this shit. We respect you. Sure. This you guy know? Tyler is not bad. <laughs> he has his head on straight. Also, at this point, I he guess Putin is like 75,000 years old, we <laughs> yeah, said, dude. in 60 years. <laughs> he's a clone. He's got to be a clone at this point, right? Poots? Poots? Yeah. Big really? Daddy Poots? I think he's Rosie O'Donnell. Damn. Yeah, where's she dude. been? Yeah. That's a good point. I haven't seen that theory out there yet. Never okay. seen them in the same room together. You didn't hear me say it. I Look. understand we're on live and I could get myself I'm I'm, I'm implicit after that, but I don't care. I think Putin's locking in on you right now. <laughs> dude, <laughs> just just two Russian arms come from behind that curtain and pull you out. <laughs> we have like, six well, welcome to uh that's heat or something now, <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> yes, yeah, sweet heat, big fan. Big rules uh, mountain. Yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> big fellow mountain, we little big fence. We do need to just merge all these South Jersey uh, originated podcasts into one mega podcast. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I would do it. That'd be incredible. Every time just scheduling 19 people's thing to go sit in the basement and be like, oh, did you ever jack off ever? And it's like, yeah, it's awkward a lot. <laughs> what are you crying about? <laughs> Jerking off. <laughs> Wait, you didn't answer. What are you? What do you? What do you? What I did. I said, I, I said loud, dude. Ladder forty nine. Ladder forty nine. Uh, yeah, but that's when you wanted to force. Oh, a you cry. know what, dude? I heard. <laughs> Don't sneak click in there. I dare you. Click. You click. Of boss, dude. Uh -huh. dude, I listened to like a. I, I listened to like a, a French song like the other day. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I listened to a French song the other day, what? and I just remember thinking to myself, because you know what it is? Aaron keeps asking me, you know, like, you know, girls like plan their wedding their entire lives. Sure. Like, they have like everything planned out, and then you just show up. 
that is not my girl. Okay. She's like, I've never done this before. I need help planning the entire thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. I, was, I had the same thing. So I'm like, okay. So you like, love that about her. That's why you, that's why yeah. you picked her because you're like, ah, you're not like the rest. Right. right. And now you're like, God, I wish you were just like the rest a little bit. And then I'm like, <laughs> Emerald Green. She's like, Emerald. I'm thinking we're Hunter. And I was I'm like, like a okay. Sage kind of girl myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really see the difference in any of it. But <laughs> just both are oh, expensive. Claim color blindness. I did that a long time ago. Turns out I am kind of partially. I lean into it way more than I should though. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you think of these decorations? I'm like, are they even the same color? She's like, sure. all right, forget it. That's fair. <laughs> do these match or? Yeah. Oh. No, I, uh, but no, everything is like, so she's like, what's, what should be our song? What should, and she'll just like play songs for me all day. And I'll be like, I'm going to listen to these later. I'm, this is so, I'm so not in the mood for this. I want to go shoot someone in Call of Duty right now. And yeah. you're playing me like, see ya. Which you I should, love. You guys yeah. should meet in the middle, and whatever song she picks, there should also be an audio track from Call of Duty playing in the background. <laughs> True. <laughs> so it's like my heart will go on, but also like send in the airstrike. No, better yet, should be like, like, the, <laughs> like the live chat of Call of Duty, like fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, L is for being a fucking loser, like your fucking fat dad is, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing better than getting somebody on PlayStation or, or Xbox or anything like that to laugh at your fucking name. Or you see somebody else's name and they kill you and you're actually so happy that you saw their name that you don't even care that they killed you. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, I'm Butt Crumbs. Okay, that's um, a good one. Or you can hit me with a Sauce Daddy Slim, both uh, both names I got. And then... You toggle. I got, killed, I, got, I got killed the other day by a guy named uh, Nippleless Cage. That's incredible. Pretty good. That's that made me good. thrilled. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, my favorite of all time is I got killed once, and right as I was about to like freak out, it just said, I am girl, age 12. <laughs> <laughs> that was Matt. That was 100% That would be 100% one. It yeah. was the best. I literally was like, dude, here's the deal. That's definitely a 30-year-old <laughs> dude, but... I'm furious even more now that I got killed by a 12 year old girl. Oh, great. Yeah. And now I'm hard. And now, oh, I hate this about Fortnite. I have to turn the game off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grow up. And meanwhile, it is just you and all 11 year olds. <laughs> There's a, do you ever see the old like Xbox 360 clip of like, it's the greatest uh, video message of all time? And it's a guy who I guess was fighting with like some 12 year old. And you can tell he's probably 19, 20. And he goes, just want to let you know, I could do stuff with my fingers on a guitar that you'll never be able to do. And, oh, yeah, you're gay. And then he goes, bam, 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 bam. But it's, like, not good. No, that's the, perfect, yeah, that's the perfect song that everyone thought they knew they were good at guitar once they could play that song, too. <laughs> it's the greatest that's thing. so good. Yeah, dude, playing guitar into your uh, Xbox, like, headphones. And it's Xbox 360, so they're, like, the foamy ones that don't really capture anything. His name is Toke on the Water instead of Smoke on the <laughs> Water. I like, Slayer Destroy. Yeah, People are still doing the, like, Lowercase X, capital X, put your name, capital X, lowercase oh, X. Yeah. We were just coming off AIM names, so we yeah. were not far Ooh. removed. That was kind of like lingering inside of our zeitgeist. Can we really talk AIM names on here? I don't know. Mine you were too bad. old. Dude, what the hell were you doing on AIM, dude? You, you think, you dude. You were way too old on AIM, bro. No, 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 you guys are yeah, so late to the game when it comes to AIM. I don't know if we can scratch that from the internet, dude. I don't know. You guys are so late to the game when it comes to AIM. Really? You don't understand. Slip Monty 7. A wise theory. We're talking stupid names back in the day. You can name as many names as you, you want. Just look up. He, he looked up AIM and it came up American Indian Movement. <laughs> Are we? Oh, you guys weren't talking about the Hell American yeah. Indian Movement? Yeah, oh, I've right. been doing that since I was <laughs> yeah. twelve. I was uh, chats with girls. <laughs> was my was my Indian name. <laughs> And girls was in parentheses or in uh, May two thousand nineteen ninety seven. Come on, no, you no. were not on there. Oh dude. Wait, yeah, but hold on. That's I have pictures cheese. of me on AIM. That's <laughs> AIM was big for me. It was like two thousand and five. What? Yeah, sure. oh, that must have been a resurgence. Oh five. No, that was no. like prime time. That was prime time. No. You get on after I was like fourth grade, fifth yep. grade. You don't understand. Yeah, Nineteen ninety seven chat rooms. Other schools. I stayed within my own. Well, so we had so we had four different towns go to the same high school. So I'm in fifth or sixth grade, and I would message girls from. I think I actually fucking probably messaged my future wife right now, honestly, because I would just send out messages to like any girl that was on there. Oh, it's a numbers game. Are you yeah. guys still talking to this girl? Uh, yeah, we're due. We're actually getting married. It's pretty sick. Uh, we're going like ultimate study. Sorry, <laughs> Hers was pretty lame. It was just like her initials. It sucked. Um, <laughs> mine was like blah, blah, X4 or some shit. Yeah. I would be the guy who like posted his away message. I'd be like, <laughs> alphabetizing my M&Ms. Be back later. Oh, and I'm like, oh, you dude. were delivering sweet heat even back then? Oh. I'm like, I just blew these ladies' minds. <laughs> sure. I'm so you were in busy. song lyrics? in the away message? Yeah, yeah. 
There was a there was a brand new song that like everybody, guy and girl, used. If you didn't get invited out on a Friday night, it was uh, brand new, and it was home on a Friday or home on a Saturday night. All my doors locked up tight. I won't be thinking about you. Everyone would use that one when they didn't get invited to a fucking party. Dude, this is what happens when you let old guys on AIM, dude. Do the same thing on Facebook. You guys are putting <laughs> lyrics. Like, what are you hot young kids doing? It, also, home on a Friday night. Yeah, dude, I'm nine. Of course I'm home on a yeah, Friday you night. You were nine on there. I was ripping this <laughs> you're, shit you're in high early school. early 30s on AIM. I was ripping high school stuff on this. I feel like I can't leave my house because of my I'm daughter. sick of this. <laughs> I'm sick of being attacked for my age. Dude, I would literally be. We would, I'm we, out. We would have all those towns you go to the. You should have been back in AIM. You should have definitely been out. <laughs> it's right in front. 1997 but it also says you 2006 guys all look, you went on in 2005 it got shut down in 2007 no, AIM you pages. only got two years of it it shut fuck down off. in 2009 yeah, like fuck off in 2010 AIM came to the iPad I don't want to hear it actually that if that's crazy if you're still using it in 2010 then you're kind of pushing a whole different iPads? direction iPad utilization. Yeah, if you brought AIM to an iPad, that's right, sad. Yeah, that's crazy. iPod Nano, you're done with AIM. Sure. As soon as you get an iPod Nano, you're you done with AIM. You got an Apple Watch, you're yeah. a fucking loser. Yeah, what was like the iPod that clipped with no screen? You get AIM shuffle. on it. Yeah, shuffle. Yeah, shuffle. Yeah, shuffle. Yeah. They're like, take a guess. We don't know what song it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to pick. That was the craziest invention. That was like the fourth iteration. They were like, you actually can't fucking see shit anymore. How about that? We like... took all the cool features out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, oh, that's man. so funny, dude. No, oh, you guys man. wouldn't do that. I would, dude, I would message girls on AIM and then go to the Deffert skating rink on like a fucking. I want to say I did all these same things, but you guys are gonna be like, "You're a fucking pervert." No, we'll let you play. Your game. Were you a backward dude. skate guy, or would you leave I a was rink a big, when it was backward dude, skate? Dude, I was only. a big <laughs> inline guy. I used to yeah? inline like a mofo, You're a fruit dude. Booter. You look like a fruit dude. Booter, I, would, dude. I thought I took it dead serious too. I'd You're be really? like, "Riding dirty would come on, try to catch me riding dirty." I'd be like, "This is kind of my fucking." Did you jam. bring your own skates to the? Yeah. Not a, not when I was not when I was doing that where I was like, I'm trying to like talk to some girls. Maybe maybe someone grinds on me or something. Yeah, I might rip a little ski ball. I'm talking. You grind used... with skates on? No, I wouldn't. Oh, no, oh. you go in that I'm corner. Saying I would just there go was that one corner past out. the bathrooms. Ah. That was the uh, grinding corner. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to like hold on to hips when your skates are on. They're just bumping you away you're like <laughs> i was gonna say it's gotta be impossible it's, dude it's not easy a fate hard work. to get a thrust especially in there when you're 36 it's really <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's grinding on the fucking titanic flight deck when they're going down dude on it was the so fun though you just you would just go check your boys into the boards for an hour and then you're like anyway melissa said she wants to backwards skate only with me so i gotta get out of here guys and then it's you just Oh fuck! God damn it! You're sweaty. You know how hard it is skating with a boner when you're in eighth grade. I cannot imagine. That's crazy. You I never saw that. A I never saw that crowd. I steered clear. Oh, I went to the jungle skate? gym. Yeah, they had that big <laughs> jungle gym. Big, big, big jungle gym. gym. Yeah, there were like girls being like, "Do you want to hang out?" I'm like, "Actually, I gotta do a backflip right now, you stupid idiot." <laughs> I gotta go get Mosa in this jungle gym. I don't know. You tell me. And I do half a backflip and land on my neck. <laughs> like, on skates. Could you please gym. tell the nurse because I have broken my neck? And who was that 19 year old down there? And it's John. <laughs> Also, one warm <laughs> cookie for the world. Thank you. Yeah, those warm cookies, those were, warm cookies nice, were great. Dude. It was fun watching like all the athletic kids make a beeline for the skating rink, and then all the fat kids just ran <laughs> yeah. right to the concession stand. Now, unfortunately, we were not run to the concession stand. We knew it was embarrassing, so we'd be subtle. Be like, I'm going to go pee real quick. <laughs> and, uh, Anybody want a Coke? You guys want to get a Coke? You guys want Coke? You grab a fucking three cookies. Please don't tell anybody. Oh, man. What a great life, dude. Skating I miss rink. it all. I hate being an adult so goddamn bad. Oh, it's the worst. It stinks it's out loud. Least, you know what? It's the, only the moments where I'm like, have, like, I'll have a bowl of ice cream at like 1.30 in the afternoon. Where that I'm like, does rule. I'll literally to myself go, <laughs> being an adult, sick. Sick as heck. And then as soon as I have to set my alarm to wake up for my job, I'm like, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to chop my dad's head off and go on YouTube. YouTube right now. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about that? Yeah. The fucking decapitation mere miles from here. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. On YouTube. That guy rules. There's dude. also videos of him crooning. <laughs> Is it really? He's a crooner. Yeah. He's like a four chain crooner. Yeah, but I think that's like the stage of croon. Like you kind of hit that point where True. you croon so hard that you cut your dad's fucking head off, <laughs> and then you become president of the United States, dude. He probably saw like Trump and Biden. He's like, I could fucking for sure do that. <laughs> as soon as I'm done decapitating my dad, I'm gonna start this campaign. Do you know what he You're did? Just holding me back, my dad. So I only caught like uh, I, I basically just got it from like memes. Really, so the whole thing. Apparently, his mom was gonna be on the next season of Golden Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> and there's only. Only one way. Gary's a great guy. He's we need to kill dad. <laughs> I'm a producer now. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That's why Biden's on the next season. The mom dates Biden. He becomes president. Oh, you High should Jackson have Sue. to, when you retire as the president, oh. go on The Bachelor. <laughs> yes, yes. Just Donald Trump and Biden run simultaneous seasons. Yeah. And Ooh, whoever season bachelor. gets yeah, whoever gets the more uh ratings and the hotter okay, wife yeah. becomes the president. Pussy. Yeah. The biggest twist of all time, they date each other.
They come together for Ooh. once. The Rainbow Bachelor. They make love. I'm all in on that, dude. I'm absolutely feeling them. <laughs> How the hell are you fight? Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Hurts. Big, big company. Just, grab him. Just looking for his, wow. trying to touch his dick. He's like, Biden's like, I think it's somewhere around here. Like, I mean, the lights are on, dude. Dude, this round of because it's going to be them again, right? Yeah. Not if RFK says anything. He's has anything dead. to say about it? <laughs> yeah, I think we all have a good, shit, better chance in RFK winning. Yeah, dude. A but man like, who what speaks. It, what, what could they push them? Like, it's got to get to this point. Trump's got to walk out and ball tap Biden right at the start of the ele- of the debate. Yeah. yeah. And then just be yeah. like, deal with it. He won't even Perfect feel anything. Biden or no, Trump no reaction. The world just completely turned to dust. It's one of the two, but. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's going to be unbelievable to watch. It's going to be a great time to do comedy during the next probably upcoming yeah, six months. Yeah, as the country burns to the ground, it's going to be very fun. Yeah, although Just, people have been chill as hell lately. Yeah, because it's we know this is the calm before the storm. True. Everybody knows that like shit's about to suck. Yeah, yeah they're well, going to put another fucking virus out there. Mm-hmm. The election's going to happen. Somebody's going to win. The other side's going to be like, nah. Yeah, we're burning it all down. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to bring back True. the Redskins. It's like we're back full force. Yes. <laughs> Fuck the, the commanders. They sold it. The team? Yeah, we're just oh, back I, with the Redskins. Oh, I you just like the Native Americans in general. I'm like, they're here, <laughs> Jeff. They're like still hanging out. Can you imagine if they still existed? I can't believe they're like the dinosaurs. What a WWE entrance. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. My God, it's running bear. <laughs> they used to have dun, a family. Dun, 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 dun. I was just kidding. Yeah, I almost hit one of those two. I'm so glad I pointed that out. <laughs> Hey, fucking hey, bite your lip It's what we were taught That's yeah. all I was taught When That's I was there They were yeah. like They love bone arrows And they wore feathers In their hair It's truly not That's your fault That's it So it's not my fault You can't unlearn that That's not your fault All the stuff that old people It's like let them go Let them do their thing <sighs> Yeah That's unfortunately they're, they're still running the planet That's the only downside To letting them Kind of still be jerks there's a guy I work with, and he constantly brings up shit like that. And I know he's a far, like he leans really far right. But sometimes I'm just like, "Hey, brother, read the room." I don't know if we're all trying to do this in a Zoom call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, a we're, Zoom call. We're like a Zoom call. He's like, "And don't even get me started on the Redskins." I was like, "This was today." And he I loves, was like, "He loves you." I'm like, in. Yeah, I'm like, "What?" I don't think it's coming back, man. Like, I, I would probably drop this one overall. Yeah. I think Cleveland should have kept the Indians. Jeff agrees with me. I'm like, <laughs> wait, what? Don't get me started on loaded potato skins. <laughs> well, so I was talking about the, the NA meeting, the, the, the narcotics uh, anonymous meeting. Those people apparently don't pay attention to any news. I was like, the one joke I have, I was like, yeah, the Indians had to change their name. And everyone's like, wait, what? It's like, oh, really? you guys are very out of the loop. Yeah. Well, all they care I about is narcotics. I think it's just narcotics. baseball, actually. I think yeah. baseball is just not doing well. Not a, in, uh, I mean, it, it is tough. I think I look at it from the lens that I love baseball. So. I love baseball, too, but if you grabbed a stranger and said, what's going on with Cleveland baseball? And oh, they'd be like, yeah. oh, I have no clue, dude. Right. I'll tell you what, though. How about that dude getting his head chopped off? Now yeah, we're like, talking now business, we're in. dude. I would love that. I'm telling you, dude, that guy definitely just got his first kind of hot girlfriend. And she was like, you're going to let your dad talk to you like that? Is that you're what such it was? a pussy. That's what I just oh, think it was. Assuming. I just think Wasn't it, it basically just the internet was cheering this dude on because he was... Out, his dad was a like a political figure, right? Or, he worked for the federal government. He was oh. just like an engineer. <laughs> like he didn't even hold any office. Yeah, he just like worked for like a federal agency. He's just a mailman. <laughs> this dude made like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year, and his son was like too much power. He's ruining the country. He's probably like three years away from retirement too. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's genuinely, yeah, he's probably right. He's like, on the I cusp. just gotta ride it out. Just checking What's his TSP. What's the worst thing My son cuts my fucking head off anyway. <laughs> dude, if I die before retirement. Ah, uh, retirement. I, don't know. I would. I would be so pissed off. I actually knew a guy like that where he was like, he literally. I'm not exaggerating. He died the day after he retired. See, that's my fears. I'm. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. that guy. I'm gonna be the guy that's like, I didn't do a good job working, but I stuck it out. Yeah. And then it's like six months later, gone. Yeah. I just don't. So I'm trying to live it to the max right now. I'm in basements talking to buds. Uh, sure. I What's know. better than I feel that? Like I'm dude. retired right now. Basement buds. There's True. a new. That's our new podcast name. <laughs> That would be a crazy one. It's got to be taken. Yeah. It's got to be. If my dad was doing podcasts in basement. I think about I, that sometimes. I would chop his fucking head off. I think about that sometimes. I mean, yeah. you're, you're you're a current dad. Yeah, I have a human that's going to find this one day. I know. That's, that's what I feel. I feel like when, I, when I I'm starting to have kids, cool. I get nervous. She's like, Dad, episode 105 with Je- with Geoff Colella? What if she's like, with da- Uncle Jeff? What if she gets Uncle on Jeff? there and she's like, she's like, Dad's pretty funny, but Matt is like electric on camera. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes Dad, dad stop talking over Matt. <laughs> sometimes right dad there. cuts off Matt in the middle of a great one. Oh, your kid's going to think you're the worst part of it, for sure. Oh, like, yeah. Matt was so funny. There's no way John's daughter is gonna enjoy anything I do. I can I can guarantee you that, dude. The second she does, I'll I'll bring up to her about how you 
chanted da, da, stuff da, about da, 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 in a comedy world. Oh, was yeah. it the roast thing? Yeah, who knows? I, I think I was there up. for that one. Who knows what the hell happened at that, that thing, was dude? Sick, dude. I regretted that oh. so very quickly. Those, those, roast then I just backed out of a roast. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I signed Yo. this up for. That was one that I think John was feeling was, loose when he I came up with the a idea. Late night couch moment, yeah. and uh, I signed us up for a roast battle in which we would be. It's a tandem. And we would be the only white fellas yeah. in the whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. The one in Philly. Yeah. And uh, I found out it's not like a pre-written, like, Jeff's so stupid, he does this kind of roast battle. It's you walk up and just make fun of each other. Yeah. Oh. And it's Matt would have gotten drunk and gotten racist. I would have no. actually. No. <laughs> he, like he means only white guys. It was an all-Indian roast. Yes. Yeah, oh. oh. Yeah. If, oh, us versus the Bobs versus the boys? The curry hot. The curry hot, yeah. Oh. <laughs> sweet I'd be heat. sending a machine. <laughs> sweet <laughs> heat. Fucking sweet heat, dude. <laughs> Dude, I yeah no, I, I that's a that's I would immediately back out of that. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't try. Also, I don't have the confidence that I would be able to be like I can pick up on other physical attributes yes, that. Yeah. If I don't have three weeks of planning on my shit talk, I'm nothing. I'm like, well, you, and then I just regret yeah. everything. I got a roast battle with you in like two days' notice. I was like, this was a mistake. Yeah, I picked too handsome of a guy. <laughs> no, dude, you guys had a great one. No, you just picked too good of a writer. Some are saying, dude. Okay. I didn't even think twice about it. And I was like, John said he wants to go. Spot opened up. Yeah. yeah, let's get him in here. That was fun, though. That was fun. It was I one wish, of the, one I of the most humbling things ever. Shorts, if, though. I wore gym, gym shorts. shorts yeah, nuts, dude. It was. A mis- I'm gonna be honest with you, though. I'm Italian, and I, I'm sweating right now. It was so, so imagine hot. me on. It was 98 degrees. Dude, I know we talked about it when you came to my apartment first. You were. I was kind of making fun of you already. And dude, you were like, I, I have no sweat choice. so badly. I've gotten. I've gotten Botox injections in my armpits. Wow. Really? To try to chill out because uh, it's, it's a side effect from I took a. Uh, Medication for my acne. I took like the Accutane bullshit, oh. yeah. and it cleared me up. Well, but... at least you didn't kill yourself. Oh yeah, that That's was good. I was close. You escaped that, that was one. Close. Um, <laughs> what if I would have if it didn't work? <laughs> I would have if it didn't work. I'll tell you that. I tried to, but apparently you can't hang yourself via <laughs> armpit. I don't know. <laughs> what about, that's that's a, what a David Blaine. Where people try to start accepting me, they said that they only didn't talk to me because of my acne, and I'm starting to make more friends. So this is better now. Um, <laughs> but no, I dude, I literally I took sweat pills. I took, they were like, try these <laughs> pills. Maybe your dude, <laughs> dude, fuck Tra- Travis Kelsey. You are Mr. Pfizer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Quit with the medications. Dude, I, I, they literally were like, this should help. I came back. I was like, didn't do a thing. And then they were like, the only thing left is Botox injections. And I was like, let's give it a whirl. I'm just and picturing I did, like, you and four just real vain fucking housewives <laughs> in the lobby. And she's like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting my cheeks. And she's like, I'm getting these gross feet. Just like. Yeah. Let me tell you, girls, <laughs> I'm getting my pit fucking shit it out. <laughs> Dude, they were expensive, and I kept sweating, and I was—I just called. I was like, stop ordering them. This is a waste of time. <laughs> That'd be so sick. You go for Botox, and they put you under, and you get fake tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing a kid. And they're my sweaty pits. as hell, dude. Yeah, you're the sweatiest <laughs> fake tits, dude. And you're like, I need to get my pits done. And they're like, I think he said his tits done. I don't know. Let's put tits inside this 16-year-old. <laughs> He told us to put his podcast on. Guys, I'm operate. telling you, I've got I got Botox injections like within the last year and a half. Oh, I'm really? Now? This isn't even 16. Like oh, I've just been yeah. dealing with this. I wore four shirts yesterday. Did you have medicated uh, deodorant shirts. at some point? Yeah, but it burns. I had a friend that had prescription deodorant, wow. and he like had to chemical. wear a tight sure. t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I literally was like, I'm never doing this again. We're going to degree for men, and we're just going to keep reapplying. Yeah, you know, I'm not who am I? Have you Can't tried reapply? to go uh, like, like natural deodorants as well? Because those are absolutely dog work. shit. I leaned into those for a minute. Yeah, they don't work. Yeah. I just had one that I ordered via Amazon. And I was like, ah, oh, this will be a good one. I put it on, immediately went to my Amazon. I was like, I want my money back. And then they basically responded like, nah, we get it. You can just keep it. We'll yeah. give you your money back. We're so sorry. Just frozen yeah. water. <laughs> We're, amazed. We're actually amazed anyone bought it. They truly are all. We're going to start selling it as glue. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like eye black that you put under your yeah. armpits. It does nothing at all. Except it makes your arms look hell- hard as hell, dude. When you're out on a lacrosse field. You go black you pants, it too? Yeah, dude. You I fucking... smear it like a douchebag lacrosse guy. <laughs> I fucking raise like a red panda defending itself. <laughs> Have you ever seen a red panda defending himself, dude? That's a it's great the reference. thing on earth. <laughs> I've never seen it. Jay, if you don't mind, <laughs> Jay, if you please pull up red panda pull defending it himself. It's one Jeff of the will have a podcast called Red Panda Defense <laughs> Team by the end of the night. <laughs> this is God. There's a popular meme, but every time anybody's mean to me, this is who you're being mean to. <laughs> are you are you a red panda? I'm is the that red your panda. spirit animal? That's exactly right. Yes. It is so goddamn cute. <laughs> Show it to me, baby. Oh, it's like a raccoon. <laughs> Look at that. That's me, bro. <laughs> That's I'm a Pokemon. Big. I'm long. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you got kicked out of that bar. On <laughs> Tell <laughs> that. Hey, man. We will never. Trying to stank your leg. We will never speak of that again, dude. What a rough <laughs> night for the boys.
<laughs> no, the right, boy. Well, no one else was there but you. True. Well, dude, dude sometimes you got to drink 22 drunk beers. With you. Yeah, I was thinking about that when you were telling me drunk stories on the on the drive over here. I was like, man, I haven't even seen you like really drunk in a long time. Since I, I usually I am drinking. not getting hammered as often, but this this weekend I said I'm gonna I'm gonna channel my John and do this thing out. I don't like or it though. Also... People people tone it down when they're around me now. I want people to drink more because now I'm gonna remember the shit that they do True. and be entertained yeah. by it. I, I feel know. like I feel like the older we get, the less uh, a day drink becomes doable. You know, mm. it's like it's like you start to I don't know. I've done a day drink where like it's like six p.m. and I'm like, second wind's coming on and yeah. it's only going downhill from here. Yeah, <sighs> it's insane that especially because like you think about the stuff you got to do. It's like go eat greasy food. So it's like that's mm-hmm. what's going to keep me moving is plopping shit in my stomach. Yeah, for this next five hours. But then I want to sludge into my vein. Yeah. But then I want to sleep. So then I'm not. I don't have like the energy anymore. I'm like, ugh. Then you go RBVs and then you just you're done for the night, dude. Oh, dude. A couple Red Bull vodkas. I'm a big you sluggish. I'm a big Wawa guy, dude. I'll go to Wawa just like buzzed, yeah. roll in, get quesadilla. I'm like, put as much bacon on there as you possibly can. Yeah, I fucking. Well, you delivered thing. that, like, guys, you're not gonna believe it. When I'm drunk, I like to go to Wawa. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying that's my go-to. I don't like no DoorDash. One. I'll literally <laughs> no drive one in the to Wawa. Of the greater yeah, Philadelphia area has ever thought of this. Oh shit, dude. you're the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> you're Did the you know guy. that touchscreen works when you're shit faced too? <laughs> I keep the lights on. I keep the lights on. Dude, I go up there. When I'm drunk, I go up to those touch screens like a busy waitress. Like, during rush hour, I'm, like, fucking tapping it with a card and shit. You know what you can do, which I just recently learned, is you can go to Wendy's and ask for a 50-piece nugget. Oh, really? Ooh. It's Don't not on the me menu, that. but if you just say, hey, can I have a 50-piece nugget? They'll charge you $15 yeah. and just put 48 sauces in a bag with the nuggets and just say, here you go. 15 beans for 50 nugs? God, I've been trying to raise a family not knowing this? Dude. It's a bummer because every single time I go to Wendy's, I'm looking for an excuse to get 50 nuggets. I mean, and keep I look, one on hand, you know, just sure. like a late night snack nug. I look at her and I go, True. would you have some nuggets? She goes, I'd have a couple. I go, you got to have more than a couple. Would you have 25? Well, <laughs> yeah. If you have a couple, I'm having 47. Hear and that's out. a problem. I can't do, I can't justify this. Hear I need to have 30. You mentioned having a wedding you're planning. Hear me <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> Babe. I know we were talking about a caterer and everything. Yeah. What if we had a nugget bar? Yeah. <laughs> dude. No, dude. Have her, instead of throwing the fucking thing behind her, when they, after the, they just throw nugs. Dunk nugs over her shoulder. Shit, nugs dude. go hard with the sauces. Ooh, we're, we're stopping at Wendy's on the way home. We can't talk nugs as much and not get Wendy's. 50, 50. Dude. You're going to go to the one they are going to be like, we've never done this ever. No. <laughs> but no, the think, one near me, you just ask. They're like, they think sure. it's a speakeasy password. Do like, you think given the time to prep, you could put down 50 in one setting? Now... You're gonna, I mean, you're going to, it's going to Of hurt. Wendy's, no. Of Chick-fil-A, yes. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yeah. Wendy's is a bigger nugget. It's, it's also a little bit of like a, hmm. f- a little bit more fast foodie, I think. Like, I don't know if my stomach could handle. I love that uh, Chick-fil-A has tricked everyone into thinking it's a healthier option. I used to work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Did you really? Yeah, I worked in the kitchen. Hey, thank you. Dude, what the hell yeah. were you doing back there? Oh, you dude. did bullshit. You worked there. I tossed a thank you at you. You're not hucking to my pleasure right my back pleasure, at dude. me. Oh, I, I worked in the kitchen, dude. I got, to do it, I got to do it real sarcastic. My boss would be like, my thanks pleasure. for that, chef. Oh, yeah, dude. My pleasure, bro. Oh, it's my oh, my pleasure. <laughs> now, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, it was De Nada, brother. I've seen those kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually, it was just high school kids getting high in like near the trash cans and coming back in, and they're like, What's going on back here? I'm like, nothing. I just loaded up a 40-count nugget. Oh, I know we don't really do fuck. that. but So it was their pleasure the whole time. We're going to my channel on Twist. <laughs> yeah. That sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the secret. that's something different. No, Chick-fil-A is awesome, dude, forever. Yeah. I actually don't care about their viewpoints because I like that they let – they would let me watch football on Sunday, and Somebody, that was big for me. <laughs> I saw a meme that was like, my mom's racist, I still, or my mom's uh, homophobic, I still eat her food, or something like that. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to stop going, not That's my mom. That's pretty good. One of my yeah. favorite things in the world is getting Chick-fil-A with a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> You're just yeah. standing at a, a kid's <laughs> birthday <laughs> party, <laughs> standing at a kid's birthday party with a Chick-fil-A tray, and just watching a lesbian oh, go, stupid. God damn it, they are great, fuck it, and just <laughs> eating a handful of nuggets, Yeah, just putting her morals aside. Yeah, uh-huh. whoever cooked it, she's like, goes in, she's like, I want to move in with you. <laughs> I love you. I thought you were doing the, uh, the, since they have the cows as their mascot, I want to move in with you kind oh, of thing. Okay. Eat more entourage. chicken bo- billboard. My comedy is layered. <laughs> Much like a Michael Myers. Much like a Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> this podcast is brought or to you by Gunner of a Bad gay Hurley. flag. <laughs> Two missed free throws, brickin' for chicken. True. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah, is it still brickin' for chicken now? Yeah, that yeah. is. The other night, I think the other night there was like a four count handed out. Yeah. I was at Embiid's 70 uh, burger. Ooh, what Were team's going to be there? I was there, yeah. Oh, 
how sick was, it was that? It was crazy. He had like 24 in the first quarter. And I jokingly go, on pace for 96. <laughs> yeah. And then he just keeps going. And I was like, this is actually, actually unbelievable. He does this. I'm getting a 50 <laughs> piece <laughs> nugget on the way home. Saying that with your calculator at the side of your thing. Dude, Brit, like, uh, <laughs> 96. 96. How many nuggets is that? Are we up to? <laughs> eight, eight nuggets. <laughs> That's enough for my future son. I went with Brittany Johan. She brought me. And uh, <laughs> Brittany Johan brought me. And then midway through the game, two lesbian chicks with just like, I'm talking like Super Saiyan haircuts, just sit down next to Brit. I mean, it's tight. You know how the seats are. We're like upper level. It's yeah. tight. Brit just leans over to me about these fucking lesbians. <laughs> and I was like, yo, they don't, everyone around us doesn't know that you're a lesbian. Um, I mean, they yeah. do. <laughs> people behind and people in front just looks like some dude also, leaned over at me and went, yo, how about these lesbians? Also, they're behind, they're just seeing you from the back with your <laughs> oh, hair. Yeah, fuck. Just fully thinking you're also a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Brit looks like the guy, I look like the chick. I'm like, this is a just nightmare. Just two schizophrenic lesbians, like, look at these lesbians. <laughs> it's us. So a couple Super Saiyans, a couple Anna Gays. So oh. the fucking game had to be insane. I'm so it jealous. Was, dude. It was uh, <laughs> it was fantastic. It was uh, this one dude like tried to befriend me. Guy next to me kept talking to me the whole time, and he was just bullshit. And he could feel it. He would be like, "My brother got blocked by Tracy McGrady on Twitter," and I'd be like, oh, "Wow." Sick. He'd be like, tell him. And he'd be like, I've never had Twitter before. You're making <laughs> yeah. that up. Then I'd be like, I don't, don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> I actually came with my friend, and there's something pretty historic happening right now in front of us. Yeah. Like, we just kind of watch this. Yeah, if you guys course. don't shut up, my friend's going to beat you up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See these lesbians over here? Yeah. We got a couple. <laughs> Huey, Dewey, and Louie over here about to knock you out. <laughs> I yeah, you have my ear off. I got the Scissor Sisters <laughs> over here. I'm just trying to fucking watch history. Goku and Vegeta over here, powered up. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> just laughs and says vagina. It's so Sorry. sick. Hey, I'm 27. So, <laughs> I'm 28. Could you tell? No, you Dude, look young. What? You know you've gotten younger. No. no. Yeah. Not at all. How about this, Jeff? Yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. I. Dude, that was going to bum me out. Well, I, thought, I, did, I didn't mean like I that. I thought you were going to hit me with that. I was no. like, oh. oh, my God, never in a million I'll years. A trap. A trap. This is high school. I'm gonna I think you've that. looked exactly the same for the last, what, six years that I've known you? Yeah. That's what Dunnigan said recently. He's like, dude, you you hit it early. Your it hair's big. just been different lengths. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta trim it up. I'm probably going to get no, it closer to your... let it grow, baby. I'm actually probably a little bit tomorrow. shorter than yours I'm gonna for the wedding. I'm going to clean up tomorrow. Okay. Don't go too short, dude. I regret... I was a short hair guy during the wedding, and I went like fresh cut mm. fresh cuts are never great in pictures you yeah. need to let them age for like a week and yeah. a half true wait yeah. when is the monica lewetsky uh may 11th may comment holy shit dude. i thought it was like next year <laughs> no holy and you're picking out colors for shit dude <laughs> we dude we sent out save the dates like last week yeah did you guys get one <laughs> you, you gotta hurry up dude, <laughs> dude it was really everything we did we've planned in like nine months but we bought the house at the same time so like, she's like, we got to get on this wedding stuff. I'm like, but look at all the cool house shit we can do now. Yeah, like, as true. a guy, I'm like, I got to do these projects. Babe, I got to start yeah. a project I'm never going to finish. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> I'm like, I got to, like, repair this sub pump discharge hose. Clearly, I could probably make this work instead of hiring somebody. I watched a TikTok. I know how to do it. Yeah. Um, Hear me out. I got really shit-faced the other night, and I think I could shiplap this entire house within a day. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> I I've signed up for a lot of projects where I was yeah. like, I thought about it. I know we had a couple drinks last night. Doesn't seem doable. No. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem doable. I was no. going to call Ryan Foster, seeing if he had any tidbits. Don't, Don't do it. Don't do it. He he just he steals he all the masculine you. energy when he comes he in. He shames and he, you. He installed a fan in front of my daughter, and he was just like, see that? That's how a real man works. I'm like, all right, go inside. I hope you're a lesbian. <laughs> the I the fan he installed was his daughter. She's a huge fan now, dude. <laughs> She's like, that rules. <laughs> dude, that that's is so funny. Else, dude. I could never let that happen. Yes, we're really, we're really You're never going to own a home. Yeah, I know. You'll right. rent till the day you die. Absolutely. Nah, you can get, dude. Matt's going to rent a casket. <laughs> I mean, do I need it forever? Doesn't everybody rent a casket? Don't they take it away? No, you get buried in it. No way. Yeah, unless you're cremated. Would you they think they put did? you in, like, a staging it back out? I didn't know there was a gold mine of wood I had access, access to the whole time. <laughs> you didn't know there was a sweet amount of oak just mere, <laughs> mere miles down the road? Polished oak just lying. You know how much pine I could get my hands on right now, guys? <laughs> It's just sad you're mining. It's just somebody in a wooden box. You're like, ah, it's just sad. Bury him back up. That's a hilarious thing to like ask about in the will. And it'd be like, who are you leaving that fucking casket to? And they're like, what? <laughs>
Huh? Dude. Oh, don't be all selfish with the casket, <laughs> Grandma, you Wait, old bitch. Wait, have you not been to a funeral and seen a casket get lowered into That's the what grave? I'm saying. I guess I Did thought there was like... Did you think they lowered it and then everybody left? They're like, all right, bring it back up. <laughs> I don't know if it was like a David Blaine thing where my grandma appears like two towns over. I'm still waiting. She's... We left a lot of snacks in that casket. Wow. Before. I can't believe they're just rotting beautiful wood be- below the surface. Just going to a viewing and then being like, what are you doing with, that? Are you doing with this afterwards? <laughs> you're you're going to save it for the next what one? this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so Matt walk, uh, walks up to him. How, many, how many dead people have been in this one? <laughs> yeah. Just fake Just one. <laughs> Just one. Why? Man, you guys how many, how many owners? How many on? miles on this one? <laughs> how many miles on this one? <laughs> You're slapping it like a car. Like, how about this bad boy, dude? <laughs> Pretend Couple to dings, say a I don't know. What can you take off the asking price? <laughs> yeah, just, that's, <laughs> sir, are you going to say a Hail Mary and walk away or what? <laughs> oh, dude, dude people get got to get active in the casket game. You ever have to, have you ever been a Paul Bear? Have you ever bared Paul? Yeah, that's all. That's God, terrifying. No. Knock yeah. on wood. I'm, a, I'm like a veteran Paul Bear. And uh, it, every so time sorry. when you, you feel the body <laughs> shift so in there. That was actually his aim name, girl. <laughs> Paul Bearer. Paul yeah. Bearer. Ooh, I did a little, You don't know who Paul Bearer is. Never mind. WWE, dude? Yeah. I know. Fox. Well, he was WWE. Don't talk to me. He was like WWE. That, dude. I was pointing at Big this Undertaker guy. guy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Well, Big fucking Undertaker. Okay, dude. your casket. Perfect. Dude, it was actually spot on. <laughs> Urns are interesting too, though. Urns are interesting when you do the cremation shit. Brittany said that, uh, like, recently somebody handed her like remains in like uh, a gift bag that was just like in a box. Dude, my dad is in a box in the drawer of my desk in my house right now. <laughs> we uh, went no urn. Oh wow. Do you yeah. want? To, does he want it spread anywhere? Or? So it was weird. Uh, we what's weird you say with the casket too. You still have to rent the casket. So we he was laid out at the funeral in a yeah. casket. We didn't just like put him in so a chair. So there is multiple people. There is multiple people. My dad there, got laid there is a there is a loner, but they charge right. you. Yes, they, were, dude, they charge right. you like a good amount to just have that casket like to put him in it. So like you do want to be hundred like, bucks more, we'll bury you in it. Yeah, and I'm starting to be more and more right. Here. So. But then we divided the ashes into three. My sister got some, my mom got some, and I got some. My mom spread some of hers in the ocean. We did a whole like thing. It was beautiful. I think my sister did something, and I just put them in the box they gave me in the desk that was his desk too. Oh That's wow! That's not a metaphor for <laughs> you're just I'm stuck still at working. Work for True, the fucking yeah. Day. yeah. <laughs> And I open it up. It's the desk I sit at all day for work. And every once in a while, I go in that drawer. It's like <laughs> seven legal notepads, those yellow ones, and the box of my dad's ashes. And I'll just open it up and be like, hey, what's up, dad? And just shut it. That would be insane <sighs> if he like, left you a note of where he wants them scattered. <laughs> and he's just like, throw him a trish. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? When she's sleeping. <laughs> and then you find out she disappears. <laughs> she's been a magician the whole time. That's so fucking stupid. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, they also don't... Uh, so when you get like cremated, it's not you just get like a fine powder. If you were to like sift through remains, mm-hmm. there not everything melts down apparently. Oh, really? Yeah, there's uh, there's the bone fragments and stuff yeah. in there oh my too. God. So teeth. That's sitting for real. That's yeah. sitting a mere two feet away yeah. from me at all times. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that feels pretty crazy. I feel, yeah. like, you gotta, I feel like you gotta do something. But now it's like yeah. I don't know what to do with it. Put it. I'd rather you put it on like a mantle or something. Yeah, decorate. The box is Any not very your, decatorial. Well, yeah, get buy an urn, pour them in it. Be like, that's my dad up no, there. No, because now I have a kid, and like everything in my house is going to get broken at that's some point. point. Yeah. You know what's worse? Have my dad in a drawer forever, or having to clean him up off my living room floor while Bluey's playing in the background? True. <laughs> get him a casket. Get a casket in your house, put your dad's <laughs> remains in there. You should put a box in the casket. There we go. That's good right there. <laughs> I've thought about like Russian taking doll. it to like certain like ah, he loved baseball. I would sneak onto Citizens Bank Park and spread the ashes while I like streak across the field <laughs> just to get tackled by some kid that got kicked off the Widener football team. <laughs> <laughs> a remain delay, not a remain yeah. delay. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing out the tarp. This is a <laughs> real mess out here. <laughs> he just started putting some of it into Bryce Harper's pocket. I don't know. <laughs> he was crying and saying some lines from Big Fish. <laughs> <laughs> he was crying and just doing lines from uh, <laughs> Field of Dreams. <laughs> That's another oh, one. Dude. Dude. Uh, I pray oh, that, that you guys know that. Cryer for you? Well, I mean, it's a baseball movie. My dad was my baseball coach my whole life. It was like a thing that bonded us. Mm. And the movie is literally about a guy trying to reconnect with his ghost dead father. Yeah. And it ends with him going, hey, dad, want to have a catch? Come on. It's pretty yeah, brutal. Do it. Ugh, it's pretty brutal. It. Have you seen For Love of the Game? Have I seen it? It's one of my favorites. Kidding me? It's one of my favorites. Clear the fucking mechanism, my dude. It's one of my absolute favorites, dude. You're asking me if I've ever seen a Kevin Costner vehicle? Dude. Ah. With a little, uh, 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 what's his face from Step Brothers, too? Oh, John C. Riley uh, is the catcher? Riley? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I kept wanting to call him like, He's Cal. the second best <laughs> movie nice. catcher of all time. The best one is uh, 
the dude that's in Scream and he's in Summer Catch. He plays the catcher Dave, in Summer Dave Catch. No. Matthew Lillard. He's the uh, <laughs> he's the Shaggy? he's the guy who comes back. He's one of the murderers in Scream. He's one of the screams. Yeah, that's, the that's Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. Yeah, yeah Shaggy. Oh, he's the screamer. Best catcher in baseball movie history. Really now. He just walks out at one point and he's like, you know what? I don't even think it's you. I've just been kind of farting in the umpire's face all the time. I think I'm going to poo poo to my pants on the last one. I was like 11 when I hit that. And then you hit me with a almost naked Jessica Biel. Forget it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pull that scene up, Jay. Let's get horny in the last couple minutes. I now minutes pronounce here. you Chuck and Larry, Jessica Biel. Oh, uh, can we just, we're going to go out on a Fuck montage. Or we're, we're past an hour, right? Should we go? All right, we can. Let's just talk how hot Jessica Biel is for the next 13 minutes. Not enough time. <laughs> not enough time. True. Actually, I was not going to lie. I was actually a bit of an Alba guy myself. Everybody well, was, was an Alba, was was an Alba a, guy. Uh, that was that my was go-to. That was young too. for you guys, too. You were young pups. Oh, Fantastic Four, Jessica Alba. True. Yeah. True. Cream in my pants, dude. I Hi, wish I was the invisible. Yeah. I, dude, I wish. I'd be like, Invisible Woman? She's probably here watching me wank it right now, dude. <laughs> She's probably here watching. This is where she would go. Yeah. If a woman with her caliber <laughs> got the abilities to become invisible, she'd definitely go to a nine-year-old <laughs> Jeff Colella's room in beautiful South Jersey and, and watch him begrudgingly tug at his wiener for... Upwards of three and a half minutes. <laughs> She's doing it for science. She's a scientist in the movie, dude. She's and she'll knock over a beaker on Jeff's yeah. dresser. I don't know why there's a beaker, but Jeff there is. Jeff a beaker in there. Well, that's always how the invisible people Jeff's reveal in themselves. His bedroom fucking a beaker. At Where do you think he came? <laughs> he was collecting his seed to give to beautiful Jessica Alba. A couple girls called me Mr. Fantastic before <laughs> in my dreams. Mr. Stretch, if you yeah. ask me. I was really Mr. Stretch. Yeah. I was the rock thing for. You want to see the thing? Yeah. You want to see the thing? I'll show you the thing. <laughs> I'm going to chop my dad's just fucking head off, dude. I promise. The and they burnt the whole time. Oh, man. That's I, what the sweet heat was. The sweet heat, dude. <laughs> a little bit of hot sauce in your pee hole. Oh, man. Oh, boy. That's pain Olympics, dude. Especially on Taco Bell. I might get we Taco had, uh, Bell. Uh, Taco we had B's one of our there. baseball coaches who was our friend's dad. Uh, he, like, was rubbing down someone's arm with, like, Tiger Bomb or uh, Biofreeze, Icy Hot, mm. if you will. Yeah. And then he went to the bathroom, and our dugout had bathrooms, like, in the back. And you just hear, like, the death scream from above of just, like, oh, my God. We're like, what? And he's like, oh, he was just rubbing Icy Hot on some guy's arm and then just went and took a piss. Uh, Didn't wash it off his hands. Yeah. That's, That's violent. Brutal. Fucking Shaq didn't talk about that in the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't put your balls don't on it. Make sure you don't, don't use it on your butthole. Don't use that it on your butthole. That was your best impression today. Also. <laughs> that was your best <laughs> well, <laughs> Never mind. It was 100% Stone Cold Steve Austin. Never mind. Stone Cold just smashes two Icy Hots together. <laughs> <laughs> I went down. I got a Tiger Bomb. What? That's well, actually pretty I got good. Myself it's, a, it's a solid Stone Cold. It is absolutely a solid one, yeah. That is very good. Damn, dude. What? <laughs> What? That was his catchphrase. Oh, I figured it. <laughs> I said it was good. That's again, he's like, I don't understand. I thought they were fishing for yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, this. Can I get a hell what yeah? What do you think your best impression is? <laughs> My best impression? We'll go well over an hour, baby. Um, it's Patreon content. I used to be able to do, It's a, with smoking, it's like I'm kind of losing certain certain things I used to be able to do. I used to do a pretty decent uh, Joe from Family Guy. I'd do a, hey, Peter. That's yeah, it still... turns out me and Quagmire are going to go hang out with Cleveland. I used to do that a little Still bit. Still spot on. That's very little, good. A little you raspy. Can also, but the good thing is you can also do a putty from Seinfeld. Same guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, I can do I, I just do all his roles. <laughs> I'm like, him. I'm actually. You guys ever seen, uh, what was the thing he was doing with like David Spade and shit? It was like Rules of Engagement or some shit. Yeah. Was he? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's I My favorite thing to do other than the Joe with him is his scene in Ted. And he's like, he's oh, like yeah, yeah, I got beat up again it's like dude you think you're like some gay fight club or something i don't know i might be gay or something i don't know yeah, yeah this is uh ryan turns out i'm gay or something yeah. i don't know fuck you fuck you deal yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude it's the it's fucking best one of the funniest movies ever dude i still love the holds up. movies dude family guy when that first came around that was like a whole new brand of humor that i hadn't thought like just the cutaways yes totally random cutaways that last like four oh, or five yeah. minutes that have nothing to do with what the episode's about yeah. i was like damn i didn't know you could, that's what my brain thinks i people didn't know you could that, do that people that are older than us though disrespect family guy really dude uh, you talk I'm to older someone than you and i love it yeah. through and through i'll talk to like a 31 year old and they'll be like dude whatever yeah, they jack they're, simpsons bro they're south park elitists they're like i yes. can't enjoy both it's like you can absolutely enjoy both yeah, you can enjoy animation. all three none of them have ever made to cancel the other out yes i could like south park 
completely independently yeah, from Family Guy. They never made yeah. Family Guy going, this is going to fucking bury The Simpsons. <laughs> and they, it's, they lost, dude. They missed a triumvirate of hitting a Family Guy at 8, then a South Park at 9, and a Tosh.0 oh at 10. Yup. Hello, folks. Dude, the, the value of a uh, Family Guy box set <laughs> my freshman year of college, because it was there was no cable in any dorm, so box sets were huge. Box sets reigned supreme. There yeah. were, like, knockdown, drag-out fights. Friendships ended over, like, box sets returned and you're like yo the third disc of 24 is in here what the fuck yeah and you're like no 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 they're all there he's like no 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 i, I have 23 and i'll have 24 i need 24 yeah and you find out what jack bauer is gonna do friendship over yeah but the family guy one that thing got passed around like the wing of my dorm and it would just be like everybody would pile into one room and watch it together oddly mm -hmm. and also we discovered how awesome weed was at the same time because oh. it was like rediscovering drugs in college like you did a little bit in high school mm -hmm. kind of but then you really didn't know how to do them in college oh, walking across the cabrini's campus getting a little bit high with my roommate and then giggling at fucking cleveland yeah. falling out of that tub yes. that no 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 <laughs> just on loop yeah <laughs> box set's actually another name for a lesbian couple <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I mean, if you couldn't put a bow on the episode <laughs> we'll take any her. better than right there. Jeff, what do you want to promote other than all the podcast names you've dropped? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Catch up your naked jokes, Sweet Heat, Big Boy Mountain. They're all really three independently good podcasts. Um, it's like three different seasons of uh, I mean, your you favorite could get show. All the episodes are still out there. Wait, you guys lost the I kept, whole I kept show, the Sweet right? Heat ones up there okay. and just, like, just changed the RSS feed or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I uh, have a show coming up this Saturday, but all those tickets are fucking sold out, so good fucking luck getting wow, anything in there, dude. Uh, Moose Lodge with our boy Danny Callahan. Oh, hell yeah, that's, that's a fun show. That's a fun one. Pays um, way too much. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> dude, that, that place, the those Moose Lodges are, they're, they're fun, but they are interesting. It's oh, just yeah. a bunch of people yeah. that you're like, all right, I just cut half my set. Uh, yeah. We're going to, you know what? You guys don't seem like you watch Love on the fucking Spectrum. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You guys aren't down you with the like love. You seem like you're all on the Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, just check out my podcast. I plug all my shit on there. Or Instagram, if you could spell my name. G-E-O-F-F. Good luck. We're going to misspell it on this episode just on purpose. 100%. Wait, actually, just uh, I, well, I called the Tux place the other day, and he goes, can I get a name for it? And I go, it's Jeff. He goes, it's not one of those ones with a G, right? <laughs> I go, it, it looks actually... like I'm wearing sweatpants to my wedding, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> I go, it actually is. He goes, get the fuck out of here. I just had a guy come in like that. I thought, that's crazy. Two in one week. And I was like, just, like, just your dad going to rent a tux <laughs> for your wedding? That's what I, was, I swear to God. I was like, there's only so many of us. Yeah, true. Yeah, Jeff Clella on uh, all your social media platforms. And uh, yeah. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks for coming yeah, on, brother. Thanks for doing it. Matt, what do you got coming up? Uh, what do we have this Friday? Because I guess this will be up maybe We're tomorrow. We're live right now, right? Uh, we, oh, do, yeah. do we end up going live? Yeah. Um, this Thursday. Friday? Thursday. First start with Thursday. Promote the thing we're on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Post-game comedy show. We'll be running that one at the Tap Room again. Please come by the Tap Room at 8 p.m. Uh, doors open at 7. Come hang out at that. And then Friday, we're at Slancha in... Um, Media opening for Ryan Foster and Peggy O'Leary. I'll be hosting that one. That's a great little double headliner. Uh, February 22, I'm going to be at Helium Comedy Club uh, hosting for Josh Blue. Very excited about that. And then a couple other ones in February I'll post up. And March 2nd, please come to Scores Sneaker Boutique. Uh, me and Johnny Boy are running a show over there. It's our first show. Uh, tickets are moving pretty quick, so I would try and grab now if you see it. Uh, but please come out. It's a fun show. And that's not even like uh, we're, we're lying and saying it. I sent Matt the numbers today, and it's surprisingly very surprisingly good out right <laughs> yeah. now. So if you are thinking about coming to the show, even if you're a comic that we like, buy a ticket. We need to pay comics. That was my message yes. to the comics. But come out. If you're, yeah. Um, I got tomorrow I'm getting a haircut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the 15th, I'm in the wrong month. Next week, uh, Hosting at Helium as well uh, for Robbie Hoffman, uh, the early show Thursday. Come to that and then hang out, and you can get blackout drunk at a nightcap afterwards. That'll be a good time. I'll, I'll plug another person's show. That Saturday, the 17th, uh, Rosemont Comedy at Rosemont Fire in Easton, PA. I forgot that was happening. I'll be in the Poconos the weekend after that. And then, like Matt said, March 2nd, come out to Scores Sneaker Boutique. Uh, we're going to make Matt become a sneakerhead again. Back, I can't wait for you to wear just open-toed sandals. To I'm done with my box set shoes, baby. I'm back. <laughs> Give it to me. Uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs>
Bye. 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 Bye.